Hi friends and Potterheads, we are in the Order of the Phoenix, chapter 32, Out of the Fire. And there is a lot going on in this chapter. There's a lot of emotion. We have anger, we have frustration. We even have some level seven energy coming from Luna, who is somewhat disconnected from the situation and maybe a little aloof. We also have Ginny setting boundaries, but where I want to draw our attention to is something that's happening between Hermione and Harry when Hermione is pointing out that Harry has given Voldemort all the clues he needs to know and how to tackle him and how to manage him and how to get inside his head. So what does that have to do with you? Well, we teach people how we want to be treated. We tell the world how we want to be treated and we allow other people to see who we are through our actions. So where are you being in alignment with who you are out in the public, out in your environment? What are the messages that you are telling other people about who you are? When you're out in public, are you mean? Are you disrespectful? Are, and is that the message you want to send to other people? Or are you kind? And are you nice to people? Are you respectful of others? Are you respectful of the environment and the people around you? What is the message that you want to give to the rest of the world? Because this is really important. We treat people how we want to be treated. We also get the messages from others on how they want to be treated. So if you are in an environment where there is maybe a narcissist, they'll give you all the clues that you need to know how to engage with them. And you need to pick up on those clues. You need to understand that that's their level. You can't change who they are, but you can change how you're going to engage with them. And the same thing goes with how you're presenting yourself. If you're presenting yourself as disrespectful, um, antagonistic, not a nice person, People are going to pick up on that and they're going to go, oh, that's how they want to be treated. That's how they want to be understood. That's how they are as a person. We're giving them all the clues. If you want something different, if you want people to treat you nicely, if you want people to respect you, if you want to have those things in your life, then you need to change how you're behaving. You need to stand in your own light and give people the clues that you need for them to respect you. And people respect people who are respectful and who are nice and kind. There's a lot to be said with how we engage with the world. Hope this is helpful for you. Wish you all the best. Hope you have a great week. Take care.